Welcome everyone, broadcasting from the Wraith Game Studio. This is the Nerd Herd Podcast. I am your host, Rich Kiefer, joined today by Matt Fry. Indeed. Or just Fry? Just Fry. And joining us again, Lance T. Miller. <laughs> Doing his best, uh, Rick Sanchez. No, that's person. not even my best. No? Okay. <laughs> leave, leave it at that. For those of us that are just joining, listening to us for the first time... We, uh, we are the Nerd Herd Podcast, and what does that entail exactly? Well, we are a group of friends who enjoy anything nerdy from comic books, movies, books, board, and video games. And each week we will have in-depth conversations about different topics of nerd culture. And today we are talking about movies in 2019. Specifically one, you know, the, of the nerdy variety that we're looking forward to. So, let's kick this off. Let's start with... You know, something that every nerd probably has played with in their lives. Legos. Lego Legos. Movie 2. Indeed. Mm, that's about damn time, too. I mean, when was Lego Movie 1? I believe like the... Four years ago? Four years. I think, well... It was, it's been a while. I think it came out... It's either 2013, 2014. Be, it might be 2014. I think it was 2014. Because it was right before Guardians. Oh, oh yeah, because it was it was like the same year that Pratt exploded. It was Lego, yeah. Jurassic, Jurassic World, and Guardians. Guardians. Yeah, that's that's kind of owing a lot to the Guardians, of course. But I think the Lego Movie stood on its own. It was really well. Written. Lego Movie was great. The original. Mm. If if you haven't seen that yet, check it out because that is one of the greatest, most annoying theme songs of all time. Well, that, yeah, <laughs> yeah. The theme can, song is can annoying. Can you regale us with that, please? Everything is awesome. <laughs> <laughs> you guys can't see it, but we were all just dancing yeah. like idiots. <laughs> it's catchy, but God, it got annoying so quick. Yeah. But to me, that, you know, and you guys, I don't know if you'll agree or not, but that was this generation, the younger generation's Toy Story. Oh, yeah, definitely. it indeed definitely. was. And. You know what? That actually it, reminds me, right? Incredibles? Yeah. When, when Incredibles came back out? Yeah. It, it's like that one. was for our generation. Oh, that yeah. definitely like Everybody was. thinks it was for, for the younger no, generation. That, no, that, that we was... Definitely no, waited. because we, be- we begged for it. Yeah. yeah. We waited so long for that, and it was definitely... 15 years we've waited that for that. Yeah. I gotta tell you. So, well, at least they, we didn't have to wait 15 years for Lego. Yeah. Oh, well, I mean, I guess technically well, we got a pseudo Seiko with Batman. We got movies almost e- close to every year. We had a couple-year break, then we had... Uh, Lego, Batman. Lego Batman and Lego Ninjago, which is more for the kids, and, 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 that, and that's more of the movie for the for the who show. Watch the show. Yeah. Right. right, but we did get Lego movies each year, yeah. and, they, and Lego I, Batman was okay. Was and good. I think the, the studio that did the animation for all those is doing the Unikitty show on Cartoon Network now. So Unikitty is getting its own show. It has its own show. I think it's out already. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Is it still Allison Brie? I don't think so. Okay. I think they had a re. Cast because because I know she's she's in the second one. Yeah, I but. think in the movie it's gonna be Allison Brie, but for the show they had to recast because she okay. can't commit to a, a TV show like that. So I think it's actually when you break that down, right? Because there was the Batman movie and then the Ninjago. Ninjago. Yeah, it, it's not actually different audiences that long of wait no. for Lego it, Two, it, considering there it's were just that, a long wait for the next and for the movie. sequel. Yeah, for that line. Yeah, the ones that I think Batman is more for the comic book crowd but that definitely was more for kids the other two i mean they're all for kids but it's, it's actually the first part of one, that crossover genre where it, it's designed it's for got kids, an, it's got enough but there's jokes. enough yeah. innuendo and all that type of stuff that the adults well, go i would say less so in, in ninjago ninjago was yeah. a straight kids movie yeah batman, yeah. batman had, had a lot, had, a lot, had a lot of stuff for the older crowd yeah especially like the billy d williams you know finally, of, yeah. finally getting to play two <laughs> get a play lot of face. the original people from the Batman yeah. world. Yeah. Yeah. It, it brought up a lot of stuff. Yeah, so that movie, um, it's going to be in- interesting to see how they It, it seems weird because incorporate... I think the villain, I, I only saw the initial trailer, and, and it's, yeah. ar- it's already been a while since I've watched it, but it's like the villain for it, like this computerized digital character yeah, breaking it, into it. It's, it's like it's a very strange. Like an astronaut looking it's thing. Like, it's, like, it's like Tron Lego. I, I, yeah. don't, I don't know. It's, it's weird looking and I, I don't know if... It's like a villainized version of the uh, the one female robot from Wally. Yeah. If you look oh, yeah. very, similar very similar physical characteristics. Ava. Yeah, to Ava. The head looks more yeah. like a helmet, yeah. like a motorcycle helmet than a robot the, head. The first but... time I saw the poster I thought it was Reboot. <laughs> 
<laughs> Those are re- it looked like reboot. Oh my god, that show! <laughs> but yeah, it it's interesting because it's I don't know if it's futuristic space. You know, going out. Are they going to become digitized? Because I mean, they there are the Lego video games. It kind of looks yeah. like it's Guardians of the Galaxy as a Lego yeah. thing because they are going into space. They are. It's it's Chris Pratt at the helm yet again. Um, doing all the flying and, and well, see, choosing yeah. all the crazy stuff. And because it's animated, he can let himself get fat again. <laughs> <laughs> fat Pratt's best Pratt. He's he's one sandwich away from fat being Pratt. fat. <laughs> so yeah, we we loved him on um, Parks and Rec. Parks and Rec. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. he was great we, there. We watched the hell out of that show, and him as Andy it was a great character. Yeah. I, I like actually seeing the versatility of him playing oh, a lot yeah. of these different characters. He, he's good, but, but he, he does. He, he almost got typecast, and it's like. Luckily, like we said a Luckily, few years yeah. ago, he just broke out. Yeah. And yeah. it's like, okay, you can Three different roles, three different movies. Want. Yeah, indeed. Three, yeah, and they're all different roles, too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's the funny guy. Less so in Lego Movie. I would say he has funny moments, but he's not a funny character. So for the Lego 2019, no, he's kind of the kind stick of, that gets just yeah. constantly beat. What are, you, what are you really looking forward to in the 2019? More crossovers. Yeah. More licenses. Um, because... If you caught it in the first Lego movie, there's some licenses that they used that they can't use anymore. Like yeah, Ninja, because Ninja uh, Turtle was a license right? that they lost. Uh, that was kind of cool to Lord see. Lord of the Rings. They still have that, I believe. Well, but in the first movie, Gandalf shows up. It's Act- definitely a gray wizard, but they never yeah. mention him well, by name. Well, because they can't. You can, you can... So the same thing with artwork, right? Like, I could yeah. draw a gray wizard, and as long as I never call him Gandalf, but it's you weird. are allowed to assume anything you want, and I have not yeah. infringed on copyright. But it's weird, because they can use them, I'm pretty sure, because Warner it's, Brothers, it's owned by Warner Brothers yeah. owns that, and they're, they're doing the Lego movie, so what Yeah, it was, it was just weird. I think mainly because they were, maybe because it was a or little may- more geared towards kids. They're like, no, 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 yeah. let's stay away from this kind of bloody it was movie almost, over here. It was almost a DC crossover Ex- not exclusively, but oh, yeah. close yeah, to it. Yeah, because uh, Jonah Hill was Green Lantern. They had Wonder Woman, Green Lantern, Superman, 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 Batman. They had the Falcon. I mean, they had yeah. they had Star Wars in there. So I would say more crossovers. Maybe with some of the newer acquired properties that they got through Dimensions. They I, I would actually like to see maybe a couple Harry Potter things. Yeah, that, that Harry wasn't Potter. In there. Um, they also acquired some big licenses for Le- uh, Lego Dimensions before that one up. What belly up? Yeah, they got the Goonies, Knight Rider, A Team, uh, Ghostbusters. Ghost, Ghostbusters, both versions. Yeah, both versions. Uh, Twenty sixteen and the original eighties film. Um, oh, and what else uh, they get? Le- E.T. Well, Lego just re- uh, acquired last year. Um, 007. Oh, they did. Yeah, because they, they they've put out the Aston Martin. The Aston Martin. Well, yeah. So so there's the possibility of a Bond showing up. We don't well, know who. So there's. Planet of the Apes in uh, is kind of alluded to in the trailer. Yeah, oh, for yeah. Lego Movie Two. Yeah. Um, what are, what are some of the other references that you guys caught? Oh, it's been, uh, it's it's been, been so it's, long since yeah, I've watched. Yeah, we probably the should. I probably should have watched it before <laughs> this, but it's been a while. But I'm just trying to think like stuff, just more like speculative stuff, because they acquired a crap load of licenses for for Dimensions. I think Beetlejuice 2 was another one. Oh, yeah. Beetle, Beetlejuice me. was one of the last ones. Cause and you get the, Powerpuff the Girls 2 and Teen mm-hmm. Titans. And I'm like, they could easily take those instead of, you know, they can't use them for another LEGO Dimensions game. Put those maybe in the movie. Uh, yeah. Mad Max. They alluded to Mad Max. They did. But I don't yeah. think they'll actually get the license for Mad Max for a Warner, kid's movie. Warner, I, I, I think no, Warner Brothers, they'll spoof it. They'll Warner Brothers spoof owns it. Mad Max. Well, They do, but do you think they're going to put Mad Max in a kid's movie? Uh, you can show name. the cars or something. I th- yeah, or I think it's more about the characters from Fury Road and yeah, a lot of that characteristic styling. They don't necessarily characters. have to. They'll probably show like the encounter world. some Outlanders or yeah, something yeah. like that. They're not going to mention by name. It'll, it'll be well. well and, and remember, spoof. in the first movie, they had agents. They yeah. had they had Matrix agents, I, and that's a rated did. R property. And I think they have Matrix agents just, also in yeah. Lego Batman. Yeah, it's just you just don't have to. Not mention what it, it's like yeah because if you mention it it's like oh the kids might want to go watch this rated r thing it's like you can allude to it for the adults you know did you did you guys catch the westworld reference i no. did not yeah so when emmett is leaving the the saloon in the trailer right right behind him there's a uh, samurai cowboy oh huh. just just over his shoulder hmm that'd be cool to see, <laughs> see if yeah. they pull the trigger on stuff. that yeah 
Well, yeah, you know, te- technically Westworld gone now. Yeah. The that uh, that fire destroyed Westworld. The, out, Spoilers out Cal- for those that haven't watched. No, Westworld. Out, no, out in California, the the real oh, the real fire. The real, oh, legit, okay. It, it it came across the Paramount Ranch oh, and destroyed wow. Westworld. That wow. sucks. Because Evan Evan Rachel Wood commented on that. It's like, yeah. oh my god, that's so much history is just gone. Because not just that show, but tons of other things. Yeah, yeah. Like open range and older Western. It's, it's just and stuff. it's gone. That sucks. That sucks. They'll, they'll have to rebuild it for season three or whatever. Anyway. Let's go back on a little happier note here with, yeah. uh, we're, you know, we're talking about kid, you know, so far, family movie. I almost say kid movie, but family movie. Um, that leads us into, you know, Toy Story 4. That's, we just made that direct comparison. Well, oh, yeah, it's ha- coming. I, I 11 years later. stood the test of time. Yeah, it has, it, but it, it, it also well, ended on a perfect note. Well, yeah, and that's, it I, I am actually. A bit, and then it's, I think they're picking back up for the newer generation. Oh, yeah, it's I, definitely. I, all, I actually movie. wish there wasn't. Um, obviously, I'll probably go see four. Um, three was so, so good. Two, two you can take or leave, but three, yeah. three was so good and. It's one of the few times that, as a grown ass man, I cried in the theaters. Well, we, um, we were Andy. We grew up. At, Andy is an avatar for everyone oh yeah. of that generation. Well, but so it was like we were. Go, I was going to college the same year Andy was going to college. So yeah. that was that really. I was like, whoa, this is kind of weird. And it's I'm not gonna lie, I kind of teared up a little like bit. They planned it. Yeah, yeah <laughs> right. It's it's just one of those. Uh, it, it was like you said. It ended on a perfect note. It was kind of okay. The kids are now with the girl and everything. Just leave it. I, 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 I'm, I mean, everyone whines about sequels and reboots and all this, but a lot of times it's oh we're rebooting something you may not know or it's it's been like twenty years. I do think there's a portion of time where a movie has proven to yeah. a certain audience that it was viable, and then when you when you try and push through it to gain that next generation yeah. or the, the kids. The, of pro- that the problem is, is Toy Story is timeless. At least it one, is. at least one in three, I would say. So why do you need four? Just leave it. You know, you gotta make money off the next generation. That's, that's yeah. all it is. That's all it is. Plus, it just is bring it, it out of the Disney vault. They spent well, a ton of money developing that IP. They've that gotta, too. They've got to get their money's worth out. But of it. did you guys see the second trailer or the second teaser? I guess no. Technically, it has two new characters, two new toys. They introduced the first toy. I think his name is Forky. It looks like a fork with googly eyes on it. It's basically a, a handmade the only, toy. It's like when you only a popsicle stick kid. Yeah. yeah. He doesn't run around saying fork you. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, You're going to get the That's fork. a total missed opportunity if they don't say that. But At least once. The two characters they introduced, I, I don't think they mentioned their name. I think they might have, but I didn't really pay that close attention to it. It's a, it looks like it's a bear and a duck hmm. played by Key and Peel. Oh, okay. so that's gonna be fun to watch. And wait, I'm sorry, played by Key and Peel. Key and yeah. Peel, for... Keegan Michael Key, I think plays the duck, and Jordan Peel plays the bear. Okay. For Toy Story Four, um, it's hilarious. I'm somewhat back on board now. Yeah that that whole bit they oh, I'll, do. I'll go watch the thing. Yeah, just... the the whole bit they do in the uh, second trailer is they talk about how they you know oh Toy, Toy Story is my jam I love it. and then here comes Woody and Buzz they, they start imitating Buzz and then Buzz he's like no it goes like this to infinity and beyond they start losing their their shit yeah and so it's kind of like this meta joke but it's a way for them to introduce these I wonder, characters I to the wider audience on now. Buzz losing his network TV show oh I low blow. don't think they're gonna do that nah. hey Buzz nah. you want to be the last man standing <laughs> <laughs> Man, that is low blood. <laughs> but it's right. funny as hell. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, I mean, there's really not much we can, else we can talk about it besides. Yeah, they they the really have for you. Yeah, I much. think, yeah. yeah, once more trailers are revealed and, yeah. and stuff like that, we'll have some more to talk about. Yeah. Um, shifting into more realistic, not realistic, but more live action family movies. Disney's coming up with a whole mess of them next year. Oh, yeah. 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 Uh, don't get me started. They show. The first trailer, Aladdin. Yeah, a, a live it looks action cool. Aladdin. Okay, looks so cool. I'm, I'm butt hurt about that because that's my favorite Disney movie. You have to admit, it looks. They it looks like they're doing it. It looks okay. Uh, it looks okay. I thought it looked fine. <laughs> uh, I'll be honest. I haven't cared for any of the live action movies that much. 
The only reason I saw you Beauty and the mouth. Beast, I saw Beauty and the Beast because of Emma Watson. The, the biggest that thing, was it. The Jungle Book was good for me. No. Is, yes. is the pain no. of yes. the fact that Genie will never be Robin Williams. Yeah, yeah, and, and, can never be. Well, and and I yeah. had this. Com- I actually had this conversation with my parents like a couple weeks ago, and she's like. Well, if anyone can do him justice, it's Will Smith. And I just looked at my mom like, for the genie, yeah, I wouldn't well, go that no. far. And I, I said, I'm like, yeah, you haven't watched Will Smith's career lately. He's on a downward spiral. <laughs> <laughs> it's like he's going to take this movie with him. That that's that's I, I, I that's honestly that what I believe is this movie's going to tank under Will Smith's weight. You know, possibly. I mean, I don't know because I, people said that about Independence Day. And Independence Day 2 sucked. It did, but I'm talking about <laughs> it was the a fun original. Popcorn flick. I'm talking I, about it wasn't original, good, but the it was original fun. Independence Day. Oh yeah, that was people good. had said that about that. Yeah, and it was excellently written and directed, and it, it came out good. The it's other one, one of the few the Roland other one, Emmerich movies, which was uh, with, when when Will was the last known survivor of mankind. What uh, I am Legend. I am Legend. That one was fun. Yeah. Again, well, no, good, see, it, was, he, it was a decent remake of that's the That's around the time he was peaking. Like that, I don't think I like it's, Hancock. Hancock. It's not him as an actor. It's the well, writers and the directors. I, I just I like think that. he I think he's picking crappy roles. Yeah. yeah. And and I don't I think the just the ghost of Robin Williams surrounding this movie, he's oh, yeah. not going to live up to it, and it's it's going to tank. Huge, huge. Well, one, one role is not going to tank a film. Absolutely it, is. It's, it's multiple things that tank films. Yeah. It's not just one role. But, yeah, I mean, it's not going to be the same. It's going to be... It's going to hurt me just because it's my favorite and I'm going to judge it harshly and they're, they're better... Jasmine better live up to my standards. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> That's my uh, favorite just, princess, too. This just became an entirely different... Yeah. yeah. But, no, I think... <laughs> it's weird because... It's not going to be the cartoon. I, I think it's it, they're going to go a totally different direction. They're going to have to go more realistic direction. And we already saw what Aladdin looked like. So it, I will say this. It's Guy it, Ritchie. Yeah. Right? Directing. Guy Ritchie's re- directing. Which his past couple movies have been bad. Very bad. But he's got... He has He has some, a good track record. He has some solid things yeah. in his belt. And the, the last ones could have just been... Flukes. Flukes. Yeah. I hope so. I honestly do hope so. I'm just saying, Guy Ritchie's on a downward spiral, and so is Will Smith. Well, so maybe they'll pick each other back. They back better. <laughs> they better, or their careers might be. <laughs> well, speaking of downward spirals with directors, uh, Tim Burton, he hasn't had the greatest outings these last few I either. I can't think of the last time I enjoyed a Tim Burton movie. Well, they, oh, uh, Sweeney. Sweeney Todd was good. That was how, how long ago? Uh, 2005, 2006. Exactly. <laughs> He's, like that. And that's, that's again, another Disney movie, Dumbo, live action. Which, oh, he's helming that? I did not yeah, know that. Yeah, that's, that's Tim oh, Burton. Oh, man. It looks all right. All I've seen um, is the, the like, the first teaser of him, like, in the cage or whatever. Well, they showed that. They showed Danny DeVito as the circus ringmaster, owner, operator of the circus. Um, it's going to get real weird. Wait, it doesn't look weird at all. It really doesn't. To be <laughs> For which role? As the ringmaster. He's the ringmaster in of the circus. He's, he's the bad guy. He's oh. the bad guy. He's the villain of the of the film. And Dumbo looks all right. He's not going to talk. And we do. He's mute. We all know that Danny DeVito can play a very good bad guy. Uh, yeah, Penguin. Hello. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the best I, ever. I like that movie. Yeah. Well. Okay, as a kid, I hated it. As it, time has gone on, penguin, I actually really. I like that, that penguin, but it's not. To me, being a comic book reader, it's not the Penguin. It's, no, it's I a agree. different take on but Penguin. That version it's of the not Penguin the most accurate. It's cool. Pe- it's cool. Epic. It's not the most accurate Penguin, but that Penguin actually shaped what my perception of the Penguin has been since that movie. That's fair. Even though that's not what he should that's be weird. like, I judge every Penguin based on him, well, even though he's not the Penguin. I grew up watching <laughs> the Batman TV show, so the Penguin... For me, had a much different appeal until goofy. that. Yeah, goofy. Yeah, he was kind of, I guess. Nah, I'm a bird. Nah. Nah. <laughs> yeah. So, but that that version of him though really changed the the aspect of what these villains and actually could every be. everything since then has reflected when, off that character. Indeed. Yeah. Even even though even when they make him more the gangster and more human, the look 
still reflects back on that movie. Danny DeVito he, has a, an impact on he any has character an aura. he plays. He leaves a lasting aura well, on everything. The legacy of the Penguin still lives on because, again, doubling back to what we said earlier, Lego Batman, that version yeah. of the Penguin is the Danny DeVito. Oh, yeah. Penguin. It is, it is. Yeah. So, so who knows? That's I mean, the lasting right, legacy yeah. right there. That, it could be hilarious if, from this point on, that's what everyone focuses on Dumbo. It's like, that's, <laughs> that's, that's the ringleader version we know, you know? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Which, actually, that one, you know, I, I would probably judge less harshly because I'm not a big fan of the cartoon. <laughs> well, I, I mean... It would, I never liked I that movie. I don't think there was a lot of us probably that were because it was a, it was a it generation was before one. us. It was yeah. a generation before us. There's questionable shit in there. But even taking all that out, it, I just never care for the story. Yeah. It's, uh, yeah. You didn't care for the story? No, it's all right. Yeah. It doesn't I, grab my attention. The just, 90s yeah. ones, to me, were always the peak. The late 80s well, that's and what, early 90s. That's, that's what we grew up with. Yeah. What do you, okay. if, if, if I had to go classic Disney, for me, it's Jungle Book, Sword in the Stone, Robin Hood. Huh. Robin Hood. Maybe really Pe- Peter Pan good. as well. Oh my god, there's a new Robin Hood coming out. Yeah, and it looks like Toss. Uh, I'm, I'm, not so. a, I'm not a fan of it because I don't. I forget who's directing it. But it screams Guy Ritchie's style to me. And it it looks... To me, it just looks bad. Like, it, it looks like someone trying... Rather than creating, like, a really good, just Robin Hood movie, it's... I don't know. There's just so, something about it that seems like, oh, we're going to change it too much because... Two things. Jimmy Fox, Taron Egerton. Yeah, they're both good. But they're both excellent right now. Yeah. Eh. Eh. Well, instead of dwelling on crappy movies, let's yeah. talk about a good one. <laughs> Doom? <laughs> no, we're still in, in, in the we'll family portion. We'll, we'll, we'll get there. Hold, calm calm no, the tits no, down. No. Okay. Calm uh, the tits. The, the Robin Hood movie is going to be directed by Otto Bathurst? Never heard of him. Therefore, right. it's going to fail. Bathurst? <laughs> Ladies Same and gentlemen, I'm sorry if I mispronounced anything. People about. haven't heard. Didn't hear Christopher Nolan when he directed his first film either. And what, I'm just saying, what, give following? people a chance. Following give people, was a, well, following was okay, but yeah, yeah, give pe- people a chance. They could become the next, you know, be the next big thing. But if I'll wait, okay, and okay see if it's fair, good. Fair, I'll, but I reserve judgment. Speaking of, <laughs> but coming back to the conversation of good movies, Lion King. It, it's strange to me that there it's a live action Lion King, right? Because it looks. From what okay, I, from even, the poster they show with the poster of Scar, even, they're they're nailing it. Even with Jungle Book, there was still a human character to bring all that around. True. Lion King is all, all animals, animals yeah. so it's so it just seems so strange. The cast is a good cast. Though. Oh yeah, yeah. They They've are knocking it out of the park with the cast. So I, that, I have faith in that. That one has a high name to live up to too. It does. It definitely does. Um, so far, cast has been perfect. Because that might be my second favorite. I don't know. I mean, they they it's, got the original. Good. They got the original um, Mufasa and oh, what's the mom's name? James Earl Jones. Well, James Earl Jones. Yeah, but yeah. who? I don't. Remember the original. That. The I don't remember the mom. But yeah, the mom. They they were king and queen and uh, coming to America. Oh okay. And oh the, wow, really? Yeah, yeah. James Earl Jones. And I forget the actress's name, but uh, Angela Bassett. No, no. Um, oh man, dang it! I should know her name. But yeah, she she plays the mom in. She has that like really crazy yeah. voice. Yeah, she plays the the queen in uh, Lion King as well. Oh, and okay. they're both coming back to do the live action, which is well, kind of okay, no one else. No one else could do Mufasa. Donald right? Glover no. as Simba. I mean, Her, uh, adult Simba. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That'd be cool. That, that'd be okay. And then John Oliver, I think, is the Toucan Zazu. Okay, yeah. Zazu. And then uh, who plays who? Scar? It's not. Scar, Scar in the movie was uh, Jeremy Irons. Yeah, he's not doing Scar. Uh, I for, uh, and I do like I Jeremy Irons' voice. It is That's a sultry voice. <laughs> I believe... I want to play a game with Mr. Simba. <laughs> Simba will do what I say. There will be another <laughs> bomb on Pride Rock. Okay. So Here, Beyonce is Nala. Yeah, she's Nala. Okay. And the hyena, Eric Andre. <laughs> that already sold that's, me right there. Okay, that's a good casting choice. Simba, we already said Donald Glover. Pumbaa is Seth Rogen. Perfect. Yeah, fat ass for a fat ass, you know. <laughs> Chiwetel 
Idrafor is Scar. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. John Connie, the guy that played... Um, Chiwetta Ejiofor is Black Panther. Wait. Pretty sure. In, Isn't the, that? in the cartoon? It wasn't he Black Isn't Panther? Isn't he in the movie? Who? Or he's, he's in that movie. Which one? Chiwetta Ejiofor? No, he's... Um... I know that name. Why do I know that? He's huge. That's what she said. Oh, yeah. Okay. I know him from oh, something big. That one. Oh no, he's he was the guy who was uh, the assassin in uh, yep. Serenity. Yep. There you that's, go. That's that's what you know him from. I knew he was like a real big guy. In yeah, something. but right. John Connie, he's coming back to Disney with, and he was uh, T'Challa's dad, T'Chaka, in Black Panther. Yeah. So uh, he's playing Rafiki. I can see that. And then Keegan Michael Key is Bonsai. Seth Rogen is Pumbaa. Yeah, yep. we already. I don't know who Bonsai is. I think it's is it one of the hyenas? Maybe. And then who's, who's Shenzi is Florence Kasumba. Uh, who's Tamoon? Uh, so Tamoon? Oh, Tamoon. Tamoon. I don't know if they. I don't know if that's been listed. Cast, I, mean, yeah. I don't think they list them yet. It's, it's got to be. Let's maybe see. they're keeping it close to their chest because he pulling he's, up he's, kind of the, he's kind of the goofy guy. If they don't get Nathan Lane for that. Yeah. I mean, really. Yeah. He has Just a, he bring has back a, Nathan Lane. Yeah, Timon, Billy Eichner. I don't even know who that or was, is. Or was Nathan Lane Pumba originally? No, no, no. no he, was, was Timon. he was Timon. Yeah, yeah. He has a unique voice. Yeah. I think just bring him back. And maybe that's why they're not I, saying anything. I have a dream that someday they'll make a live action Titan AE and they should bring back Nathan Lane. <laughs> <laughs> I would be down to watch that. That'd be awesome. Oh my God. I think Matt Damon's a little too old, though, <laughs> to be his own just character. Just a bit. Well, if. Yeah. yeah. He, he could be another character, but yeah. He could be like one of the elders or something. Yeah. Like that. He could play Corsa. <laughs> <laughs> I know the characters. I love that movie. Okay. Anyway, so aren't they doing a fourth? Dun- there's Dumbo, Aladdin, Lion King. Wasn't there a fourth they're doing? Because I remember it was. It was like, oh my god, Disney's just just knocking. I don't them think out. not with the Disney property. When's when's uh, Little Mermaid coming out? Because I know they're working. on I it. think that's twenty twenty. Is I it? That, I okay. think that got pushed uh, okay. quietly pushed. Disney when, when they maybe, pushed maybe the live that's action, what it was was it was supposed to be like Maleficent December. two was also in, in the works. Mm. So they're doing that and Little Mermaid, and I know Milan is also oh, getting made. Oh yeah, Milan. That's 20, I think those yeah. three are going to be the yeah. twenty twenty line. I can't wait for some Milan. It would be real nice if. Uh, I, oh man, I can't remember the actress's name, but uh, Agent May, if she showed up in Mulan, because oh, yeah. oh, Agent Man, Agent she's May, voice, amazing. She, she, yeah, well, she Agent voice May Mulan. is Mulan, right? In the original yeah. cartoon, yeah, the yeah. original. What? I, uh, yeah. Cool. So maybe cool. they could let her reprise her role as the live action. No, she, no, she's, no. She's too old for that now. She, she's fifty. She's in her fifties. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, but I mean, she. Well, looks, she, she, she looks could good. be like the elder, the elder mom. Yeah, she, yeah. That that'd be cool if she's yeah. in it. I'm looking forward to that. Yeah, that one's gonna be good. All right, and our final family movie for that we're probably looking forward to in 2019 is Detective Pikachu. Yeah. Okay. All right. So originally wasn't really on board. With Neither that. was I until I saw the trailer. Holy shit! They... And then, well, yeah, and Ryan Reynolds. Ryan Reynolds has sold me on that movie, but how they use the Pokemon, too. Like, J- they show Jigglypuff. She was in this diner singing, and the guy w- was put to sleep, and then she looked pissed. I'm like, that's Jigglypuff as a character. That is. They showed... Um, the Bulbasaurs running through yeah. the stream. Greninja mm-hmm. acting like, like his ninja self. And, and Squirtle's gone missing. Yeah. There's, there's a lot, I think... Pokemon interacting with humans in the real world as not just battle creatures, but as... As... Animals. Just companions. Companions, like like how we would have a cat or Which is what they've been hinting at yeah, for a long for time. For a long time, anyway. Yeah. Um, it's just odd hearing... A voice come out of Pikachu? Yeah, hearing an actual I spoken think, sentence. But the weird concept yeah. of him being able to be the only one hearing Pikachu... It, it makes sense. Is, ...is the disconnect for me. Yeah. Well, it makes sense because you don't want every, everyone to be able to hear. You don't want everybody, but... Hopefully they have a scene like that where he's talking to him and they, everyone hears they him actually, just going, they, pika, 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 Yeah, pika. they actually showed it in the trailer. Um, he's like, you can hear me? And they that's my... Oh, they can hear each other. 
and he's like, See? and then they show the yeah. discrepancy of n- other people. Not yeah, even like here, like yeah. it shows this girl. She's she sees him and she's like, oh, aren't you so cute? He's like, yeah, aren't you so cute? But all, but then they go back and he's just pika pika. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So so he could be saying they some really crude crap. Yeah, and they they wouldn't be any wiser. Which I think is kind of a fun way to make Pikachu more modern, not more mature, but so would you say have a voice? This might like be one of the playing. first pseudo video game movies that does very well oh i think it will do very well because i mean there's a hand, at the box there's office a it's pokemon of good video Bro, game movies super po- po- mario brothers the original no like i, I, I like that no movie. that did not suck oh, that i like movie. that movie as a non-mario movie they are making i like it as its own thing they are and making then, yeah, a yeah. new mario movie yeah. Illumination Entertainment, who did Despicable Me and the Minions movies, doing the animation right. for the Super Mario Bros. movie. So we'll see how that... But it's not live action. No. It's going to be animated. Yeah. 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 I believe Charles Martinet is going to come back and do I think Mario. there's a lot more to the Mario Brothers if you can if it, keep it animated. Yeah. yeah. But, but still, so we're talking about the Pikachu movie. But yeah, with Pokemon, I think... You know, Pokemon is the best-selling Nintendo franchise. Yeah. And I think that alone, they're going to make their money and some with it but will it be good i don't know it's going to make money it's, it's going to do well i think they realized that marvel and dc and all of these non-industry standard ips yeah. are making a make killing boop, boop because bucks. it's different yeah it is something that comes from another universe well, that may, has a solid storyline that has all of these types. And maybe if Hollywood gets their finger out of it. Because that's what killed a lot of the other video game movies was someone would interject and go, I don't think mass audience is going to like this. Like, well, you just destroyed right, the Right, because they didn't yeah. like it for wanting it to appeal to the original well, audience. So, so they wanted with it to appeal with to the new With Pikachu, it might work because it's... Okay, for the most part, we're leaving it alone. Right. It, it right. is what it is. It's just one or two things. Well, going back, back to the Mario movie, the original, it, the couple that directed it didn't know what the hell they were doing because they never played. They didn't understand Mario. They never played Mario. They, they didn't care. They want to do something different. Okay, whatever. But they took enough hints from it. Yeah. They did. It was its own thing. But, I mean, and it was, what, yeah. we're talking right. early 90s. It was like 92. Yeah, 90, 92. 92. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, the, the filmmaking have, technology but, at that point. And I have to admit, I'm probably the only one I know that wanted... And this is going to sound strange. I wanted a video game based on the movie. Yeah. No, I, 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 wanted, I wanted like a side scroller shooter with, with him with the flame gun or whatever as Mario Brothers the movie. Who didn't? <laughs> that could have been kind of cool. I'll, I'll admit that. Even though I hated the movie, yeah. that the game could have been interesting enough. But I think Nintendo, as far as it succeeded, I think they're going to take it seriously because I think Miyamoto is overseeing creative direction for oh, the yeah. Mario movie. So I, I wouldn't be surprised if Pokemon Company had a hand in. I, I'm, they're the, not. They're not the direction of Detective Pikachu. They're not going to let it go astray. Right. They, they don't want another Mario movie. Yeah. No one does. No. Yeah. No. And, and you know, throughout, like I said, throughout time, there's only been a handful of good ones or, quote unquote, okay ones. Like, the first Tomb Raider is okay. The second one was horrible. The first two Resident Evils are okay. The rest were bad. You know, it's yeah. like. They don't know how to make a good video game movie. Yeah. I think that's because, like you said, they keep bringing the Hollywood big yeah. shots yeah. into game it. Yeah, video movies and they're, are... They're trying to adapt it for well, a broader audience instead of catering to the original but The original fandom, idea. Yeah. Which the original fandom would help sell mm-hmm. more tickets based on the yeah, fact that if, they loved it sticking if it so was close good, to the original people, IP. Yeah, if it was good, people go, oh man, you gotta see this movie. Right. Or the simple fact is, video game movies are the new comic book movies. So it'll take them another. It's going to take a while. I but do, once I they, do think that's going to be the case. And yeah. Especially who knows? With, Maybe come February there'll be a really good video game movie. Goes by the name of Doom. Doom. I think it's a good <laughs> transition into our more you know mature movies we're coming keep out this year. Doom, but we're not hitting it yet. Yeah. yeah. Now I will say though, the, the director of that made all my fears go away because. Even though from time to time I'll watch the Rock movie, it sucks. Right. And a lot of people talk were sending messages to the director going, "Why are you remaking this? It's going to fail." We we'll get to that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, an, another movie that's getting a second chance, second life, Hellboy with David Harbour. Yeah. Yeah. I 
That's another I mean, one. It's, cool. it's based off the comic. I am excited to see it, but at the same time, it's bittersweet. Mila I mean, Jovich as the Queen of Blood. Yeah. This is another cool. one where the original character left big shoes to fill. Yeah. True, but I think it's going to be so different because Del Toro's depiction of Hellboy is so different than it, what it's, the comic it's a, is. It's a Del Toro yeah. image. And I do love a lot of and that's good. Del Toro's it's cool. Yeah. His, his eye for it's things great. is odd. You know. It is. It's different enough, and I think they're basing this more off the comics because it is more the comic book storyline with the Queen of Blood storyline. Yeah, hopefully and it's good. I, the I, art direction. If if you look at David Harbour's Hellboy, he looks more evil than the oh Ron yeah. Perlman version. Yeah. So right. and that's how he looks. He looks very demonic. I mean, Perlman had his own kind of demonic presence. Just well, and the thing is, is. But to he was degree. very comic foil. He, yeah. al- he he had already basically played a character like that because he was the Beast in the TV show from the 80s. And yep. I think they were afraid so. to actually allow uh, Ron to, to really go into the darkness of the, the Hellboy character again. Yeah, because they kept trying to make much it like, more PG-13, well, yeah. very broad audience. Same thing happened with Spawn, right? Oh, oh God. Yeah. I mean, McFarlane oh, yeah. talks often. He's like, dude, that is not... Spawn. It's not Spawn. And he's even directing his own new, new version. Yeah, of it. which you're the, not going to see Spawn. The best in it. Spawn was on HBO, and even then it was slightly neutered. Yeah. I mean, it was good, it was better, but it was. That's that's a character that you've got to just let it go. Yeah. Right. If you get the NC 17 rating, just let it happen. Let's go. You yeah. Know, there's enough people that would just say, okay, you're not going to get mass ticket sales. But it'll do well. But right. and and it'll remain true to McFarlane's original yeah. vision, yeah. which I'm looking forward to. So so who knows? Hell, Hellboy could be good. It's it, like I said, it's bittersweet because yeah. I always wanted Hellboy three. Yeah, and, and I, I mean I I did too, but I think this is a it's a cool direction they're going in because it looks yeah. like Dark Horse is seeing the the success of Marvel and. They're trying to it, it could do be their like own. the Dark Horse I universe. Do, I, I don't think do Dark Horse love, universe. Well, no, but I'm like, their, their series of movies, like, if this one goes forward, they could do a bunch of their other properties. They could, but they, they couldn't really connect them, I don't think. But oh, no, no, no. They Hell, Hell, Hellboy, they they Hellboy could be a Nor series. They, they Hellboy could to. be they, a multi-movie Exactly. Series. Dark Horse doesn't need to connect any of them, but they have so many things that would make mm. excellent mm. movie. Yeah. Premises. They got tons now. Here's of here's something I would love for them. I've I've been saying this for years, and I don't think anyone will do it because the mo- the first movie changed the perspective of it. I would love for them to make a mask movie that's truly based on the comic. I I agree. The movie is great. I love Jim Carrey's movie, that. but the comic is a bloody mess. Yeah, it, it is it is a violent comic, and it is not. They, for and, that's and they a hard alluded hard to that rating. somewhat. In the in the movie. There, there are certain scenes taken directly from the comic, but they cut away. Like when he when he sticks the pipes up the mechanic's butt. Yeah, yeah. In the comic, he does something similar, but I think he fully impales him. Yeah, like he's he, dead. He, he Vlad impalers all the way through their body, and it's like that's what I remember from the comic. Exactly. It's like I'd love to see that, but I don't think they. And I think do the it. movie that one they originally. Were, they, they talked about doing that type of stuff. And then I think when they, they added realized Jim Carrey, it became more comedy. comedy. With Jim Carrey, yeah. they could not go that dark. But they, I think they also wanted to be PG-13 originally, so they had, yeah. a, they had a tone of tone. Yeah. Right, but so that's where they went and much more. it still more has with, some like, dark moments. They went with the more cartoon aspect, right? Yeah. Like, oh, you can get impaled by this pipe, but you still live. Or, you know, yeah. getting a monkey you can jump out of your well, butt. Well, because there, and, there is a bunch of dark, deleted scenes where... Like when Dorian takes on the mask, right. he throws the redhead into the printing press and kills her. It kills her, yeah. yeah. And it's like that's cut out of the movie, so the movie was kind of dark. But anyway, it's implied. I wonder if they filmed any of those really dark scenes to begin with, and the, then there there's deleted scenes of them out there. Huh? I didn't I didn't get yeah. to see that. That's interesting. Yeah. Look, look them up. They're they're, they're interesting. I'll, I'll go look. Yeah. Yeah. yeah another character that is. Getting the reboot treatment, the Joker with Joaquin Phoenix yeah. origin movie. Okay, yeah. I am down for this one. Have, have you seen there was a uh, like a leaked test thing or film thing where it's like him bombing a subway? Yeah, and it's just 
All it is is it's like a 10 second clip of him just walking out of the subway as the cops are rushing yeah. in. And they run by, by him because they don't realize who he is. And then all the explosions go off. Well, they actually just showed a... There's there's another scene that was just recently filmed about that. All I have to say is... He's in full Joker... don't look at explosions? Or <laughs> there's another scene where he's in full Joker makeup. Well, yeah, that, that and they're running past him, and I'm like, yeah, that's that's the scene. But no, there's a second scene where he doesn't have that on. Oh, there's the original one where he doesn't have the makeup. See, yeah. I saw the one with him so with the makeup. Is, is that going to be like? Is that going to be like a transition scene? Maybe. I think. Or are they just going to see throw or, us off? Or, yeah, maybe that's like at the trailer, like he's walking away and it transitions into the makeup, makeup or yeah. something. Who knows? That would be savage. But it's weird because they show him without the makeup and he looks creepy as all hell. Then they show him with this. Basic clown makeup. The big eyes, I don't like, but for the most part, he's okay. Yeah, and then they they do the same basic clown makeup, but it's more Joker colors, and then he actually has the purple suit with the green. He looks very, very much like uh, Heath Ledger's. Like, it's. With the hair, the the short, the longer. Yeah. Rather rather than the kind of black eye makeup, it's the big blue diamonds. It's like, I think they took inspiration from Heath's and said, Okay, this is the one that most people like right now. We're going to jump off from this point rather than the stupid, you know, 2000 or new, millen- new millennium hot Leto. topic joker. Yeah, hot topic joker. That, hot that, topic joker. Because that version so bad. sucks. You know, you know you've done something wrong when you get branded as the hot, hot topic, topic joker. joker. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like a hot topic, hot topic manager whooped Honestly, his ass. Honestly, if he was, I, I can deal with the grill. If they would just take the, the all the tattoos off his the face, face, he would have been, been okay. Especially the damage okay. one. The damage right on his forehead yeah. was just too much. I was like, nope. On, honestly, nope. if they took that off, he'd be okay. He was a little. He's still very well. Actually, he's he's, he, he's very leto. Yeah. Um, but for the most part. So the the Joaquin Phoenix version, oh, right? Yeah. This takes good. me back to uh, the Jack Nicholson era. Oh yeah. He's, he's got a lot of that same yeah. facial structure, yeah. those same... It's like a combination of Nicholson yeah. and Ledger. Yeah. And Nicholson... Is... I think it's I think it's the best of a bunch of the yeah. different... Yeah. And Nicholson Joker is ID. still my favorite. Even with his god-amazing performance. I, I think Heath maybe have performed better. His Joker was better, but I prefer Nicholson. That's because Nicholson. he was a method actor. And yeah. he... Freaking yeah. went insane Nick, for that role. Nicholson was definitely the middle. It was you know, okay. He still had to come out of the shoes of Caesar Romero. You know who had so he still had as a Joker as as a brief aside, real quick. Yeah, Shia LaBeouf. Oh no 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 <laughs> no one no, no studio is going to touch Shia Shia LaBeouf with a ten foot pole, man. Well, I know, but even still, ne- never say never. I mean, the dude can. I don't like that movie. Robert, Robert Downey Jr. <laughs> People thought the same thing about true. him. Look what happened. That's, That's true. true. Yeah, but he got to play himself. He became in a movie. Hollywood's true. bad boy, and he, then they just—he was a drunk womanizing druggie, and he got to play a drunk womanizer. You were like, yeah. so, hey, you know who that is? Tony Stark. He is. You he win. Is Tony Stark. Actually, that it was uh, Terrence Howard that got him that job. Yeah, exactly. they were they were friends. I, and, ironically, and, and he said he basically said he's like, you know, you need. I've got a perfect guy for this role. Just just bear until with him. until he pissed off. Well, Robert Downey Jr. and then he got his well, ass thrown pro- off the set. The problem was was <laughs> and he, Don Cheeto replaced him. Yeah, Terrence Howard thinks he's big shit and wanted the same amount of money, and it's yeah. like, no, this is the like, Iron Man movie, not sorry. the War Machine movie. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, bro. Like, nice try. You do not. Have it's the a same thing. In hell. It's the same thing with Edward Norton. He wanted too much money, so they kicked him off the set of the Avengers. Yep. I like, know. You think you're too big for your britches, and but. that sucks because well, Edward Norton is just a dick too to work yeah. with. And to think I was reports. almost related to that son of a bitch. <laughs> Wait, what? I almost married like one of his nieces. Or well, like second niece, however you think about it. The girl I almost Scandalous. married is related to Edward Norton. That's crazy, dude. I did not yeah. know that. And I'm like, <laughs> yeah. wow, I could have been related to that Jack. <laughs> Slightly a little known fact. Yeah. <laughs> don't know what you're gonna learn on this podcast. Exactly. No. All of us have some we're like, strange connections, personal. and, and we're, we're weirdly connected to a lot of the people in the industry. <laughs> Speaking of weird, weird shit, Shazam! Yeah, what the crap? Okay, first off, okay, it looks fun. I'm that happy is, that is a the fucking dude left field. from Chuck. Zachary yeah. Levi, yeah. Right? My cat is even named Charles Carmichael yeah. Esquire the Third. 
in charge, right? Like, I, that's his yeah. full name, but it's all about I, Chuck. I have such a love-hate relationship with the DC Universe right now. It's like, okay, I loved Man of Steel. Batman vs. Superman, the ultimate cut, is okay. Wonder Woman's amazing. But it's like, Shazam felt like just completely out of left field. It was it like, is. Yeah. this, like, when the trailer starts, I was like, what's this? They, they and then didn't even the moment hint it was, at it. And then the trailer just pops out, and you're like, wait, what? Yeah. And, and it's so funny. Like It's, it's fun. I, I was expecting when they were talking, hey, we're going to make a Shazam movie, I'm like, oh my god, that is the worst character to create a movie out of. No, yeah. it, this movie it's a popcorn flick. Good. Yeah. It's like, really, really campy. good. It's, it's supposed to be. Good... It's a fucking eight-year-old kid. Yeah, I it know, looks dude. good. And it plays and, a superhero. And Chuck is playing... He's playing a kid. A, He's a, playing a kid. Yeah. I keep calling him Chuck. I don't know his actual... Zachary. Zachary Pine, but... There he goes, Zachary. So, so he's playing an eight-year-old kid playing adult, right? Yeah. And the, the scene where he's walking out of the Yeah, store, I was just about to yeah. say that. It's like, hey, I'm a superhero. Hey, I'm a superhero. That is great. Wouldn't you? As, oh, yeah. And as, his villain, his primary villain is getting his own movie, too, which is going to be interesting to see Zachary Levi interact with who was cast as what, Black, Black Adam. Adam. Yeah. Dwayne The Rock Johnson. Yeah. That's going to be yeah. a killer That's going to be interesting. Yeah. I, I'm really looking forward to that. Um, kind of at the tail end of 2018 is Aquaman, and I'm I'm hoping that's good. So well, but that takes. I don't know. That that could go either way. Yeah, Shazam when they because they dropped both trailers the same day. Right. And it was like Shazam. I was jumping up and down for. I'm like, holy crap! I can't wait to see this. Aquaman. I was still like. This still seems like the old DCU movies. It does. It, so I, I really feel like 2019 is the line in the sand where it's, okay, forget about that, except for Wonder Woman. And we're just going to move... Kid. Yeah, and, and we're just going to move forward. Gonna be good. Yeah, it's like, we're just going to forget about everything from that era, and we're moving forward. Right. And I And if I they do wait. that... I can't wait. If they do that, I think those those two will make an excellent oh, yeah. addition. Yeah. Yeah. Even with some of the movies they have announced, I'm worried about some of the DC movies, but I think they're now on their upward swing. Yeah, they're on the right the right path. I think they filmed too much too early, so by the time there was the fan backlash and the comments saying, what are you guys doing, they had already kind of dug their own hole. Well, and there's also, there's that, you know, the whole conspiracy theory that Marvel is planting a lot of seeds of dissension about oh. the DCU, and then DCU is doing the same thing about Marvel. I mean, and, it's possible. Yeah, well, it's possible. There's always sabotage. been a rival. Yeah. But, I don't know. I mean, yeah. some of the DC movies have been really good, and some of them have been like, and wait I, a second, what were you doing? I will, I will well, DCEU has been pretty consistently bad or Well, mediocre, I will say this, it, and it's... past it's, DC movies were... Pretty right. damn good. I, I will say this, which is horribly blasphemous to most people. Thor, Ragnarok, and Justice League came out within a week of each other. Or two Did weeks. I? I think it was a week or two weeks of each other a uh, couple years ago. Um, I at, went, After watching Justice League, I actually walked out of the theaters and went, wow, I actually like Justice League more than Thor. And people huh. look, people looked at me like I was nuts, and I'm like, I don't I, know I why. That. I don't know why, but Thor was good. Thor is Guardians of the Galaxy. Yeah, light, light. Well, Thor, Thor, I think, and I do like it. Don't get me wrong. The problem I have with that movie is it's inconsistent with the other two's themes. So the other two were kind of like the first one has a little bit of happiness, but it's kind of dark. The second movie is horrible. It's all dark. dark yeah. And then the third one's this bright, colorful, cheerful, kind of goofy movie. And I'm like, this doesn't feel That's like... because of the Grand Master. Yeah. And yeah. it didn't feel like a Thor well, and, movie. And the director, too. Taki so, is a yeah. comedic yeah. director. So coming out of that, I was like, this didn't feel like a Thor movie, even though I did enjoy it. Justice League, I went into it with horribly low expectations and walked out of it and went... I was blown away. That wasn't half bad. I was blown away with it compared to the rest of what they had been yeah. putting out. Previously. And there and there were problems. Don't get me wrong, but it was like, well, considering like it, it was two directors. Yeah. Right. Yeah. At a very in, I think Joss Whedon was late at. Stage. Yeah, that was very late stage, so there was a lot of e- editing tricks and all that. So, I thought for what it was, it turned out fine. I don't think it was great. I think it was terrible. It was 
Now, I, it, it was enjoyable. I, I think that's a good way to transition into what what I would call the end of the current Marvel the great, era. The, end of the, undi- three. the thus far the, the great experiment, the, yeah. undis- the great experiment, well, <laughs> the un- undisputed champions of superhero movies currently. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's the thing is, and people always say that it's like the worst, which is the worst it, Marvel movie is still leagues better than the best. DC movie. That's true. Yeah. Which I don't DC, know about that. DC Wonder Woman's pretty universe. damn good. Yeah. Yeah. DC's yeah. fighting. They are starting to put some time yeah. in. I would, I'm going to dispute what, what you said only because if I would say my personal least favorite uh, Marvel movie is probably Thor Dark World. That is not better than Wonder Woman. No. No. <laughs> so, that's true. So well, see, that's bullshit. See, and yeah, my least favorite. And I'm, I'm, I'm a Marvel fanboy. So yeah. I, my least favorite is probably Hulk. Or Incredible Hulk, not to be confused with the other one. Um, the the standalone. Yeah, the the Incredible Hulk was the worst in my opinion so far. So we're talking what two thousand eight, two thousand nine. It was yeah. two thousand eight. Two thousand eight. It was, it was yeah. the second, was the second movie, movie in the MCU. It came right like two months after Iron Man. I think they were they were testing. Yeah. Audience and it was it's still a good movie, but I still think it's worse. I actually say it's worse than Dark World. But yeah, I, I agree with you. That's the phrase: is that the Marvel's still better than DC? But By yeah, Wonder Woman was damn. It was, it was a damn good movie. <laughs> it shook the it superhero shook the movie genre. Yeah, it, it really well. It was groundbreaking for for female leads. Oh, yeah, especially as superheroes, because there's always been the the thought that no females could stand on their own. And because even because still most had, in, most in female they still had to rely heavily to play devil's advocate. Well, though. most female lead superhero movies they have yeah. existed, but they didn't perform well. That right. it's like, That's like the Barbarella key. and uh, doesn't mean they were Electra bad per se. Right. Electra was Electra was pretty bad. But there's been other films, even non superhero films, that have female leads. Alien. Yeah. Uh, well, yes. that's that's the thing is when everyone's like, this is a but that's momentous occasion. Genre. Yeah. True. True. Yeah, Superhero films, it the is a fairly new. genre, I mean, we had that with Sarah Connor mm-hmm. from Terminator. Oh, yeah. Terminator. That's, that's the thing was when, she pe- was when people... Strong, and it's you know, interesting because comics, I think, it introduced that way back in the day with comics, but yet they didn't capitalize it on movies. Yeah. That's kind of weird. in every comic, it, it there always was always a strong long. male lead carrying the, the pages in most cases. True, yeah. Um, I think what except for Witchblade, uh, oh baby, I love Witchblade. Right, um, <laughs> I mean, that's that's can, one that's one of the things. What well, we they can made do a, an entire podcast okay. just, on, just Witchblade. on Witchblade. Okay, and I'm one, probably <laughs> the only person in this room that owns and actually likes the TV show, and the TV show is horrible. <laughs> but I love Witchblade so much that I own the TV show because it's Witchblade. Well, I, I mean, mean Mar- it is Witchblade. Yeah, <laughs> Marvel is kind of you know the. They they're, saw they're the success there. of Wonder Woman and Captain Marvel. Yeah. Yeah. That's coming well, out. Getting, I'm really excited for Captain Marvel. Go. That is kind of the one thing they're Cap- behind DC on. But I, I'm fun. wondering they're how fun. they're going to explain her. Well, they've are, well, yeah, they've already hinted at it with... She's out fighting shit in the universe. She's yeah, got better but things to fight. She also has amnesia of some sort. Yeah. Because we see her she, in one scene. She looks all pissed off. But I know she had the Kree colors on. So mm-hmm. the Kree power... Made her more well, and, warlike, and, like the Kree. Very and 100%, aggressive. Hundred percent. People were commenting, "Oh, why she's beating up on the old lady?" It's like because look that on lady, IMDb, yeah. the old lady is credited as old lady Kree, right? Sc- scroll or scroll, yeah. scroll. Yeah. Shapeshifters yeah. is excellent because that was an Easter egg that we saw in um, uh, which which movie was it? The uh, the Avengers when they were um, taking over the city. Oh, the Chitauri? Yeah, the Chitauri were taking over the city. Yeah. Or attacking the city, and then you saw the, the scroll um, typography come up and everything like that. And it, yeah. It, it was a whole yeah. screen in just scroll language. I, I, I mean, and I wouldn't be surprised. They're going to show that in this. They're going to introduce the scrolls to the wider audience that yeah, hasn't because, read the comics. Yeah, because they're going to have to do a little bit of damage control, because the Chitauri were like the ultimate version of Speaking the Speaking of damage yeah. control, what yeah. if there was a damage control movie? They, they were supposed yeah. to make a damage yeah. control TV show. They were. I know, they, but then it got scrapped. Yeah. Because well, same, same with... Uh, S.H.I.E.L.D. started losing uh, a lot of its audience. Yep. And There's a reason for that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But back on the Captain Marvel train, though, it's going to be interesting because also, it looks like her... She's going to exist with Marvel. 
That never happened. Yeah. Marvel dies. Her pow- his power goes to her, and that's how she goes from Ms. Marvel. Right. To it, was a, it was a it was a freak accident so, that melded the Marvel yeah. and D- Carol Danvers. Well, his power. Well, yeah, because she was already Miss Marvel. Yeah. Right, it's time. basically it's it's like Green Lantern. Instead of a ring, his powers went to her. Well, and I think that's why they're doing it is they don't want to be compared to the Green Lantern. I maybe. think that that's also even, even though even though that's so far in people's minds. Yeah. That is if fair. They, if they did it, it, someone would bring it well, up. Well, I mean, because, yeah. okay, so... They're both if, Air Force pilots. we're relating it to the original yeah. comics, right? Marvel and DC were competing at that time to create like characters. They're both rip-offs yeah. of, of each were, other. Yeah, ripping <laughs> off each other's concepts well, and Carol stuff Well, like Carol Danvers that. is very, almost a rip-off of, uh, what's-her-face, from Green Lantern. I can't think of her name. Star something. Well, I mean, in that case, Aquaman's a rip-off of, what, Star Neymar? Fire. Star Sapphire? Star Sapphire, yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. Very similar background and story, so it's like, eh, yeah. yeah. You want to distance yourself. Yeah. Yeah. So, but, I mean, the trailer looks fantastic. Looks great. I just want to know more about I want her. to know about Coulson. I wonder well, if we're. He'll, he'll be in it, but it's, it's, it's I know. pre, uh, you know, well, it's, 90s it's, Coulson. Well, and it's before. Uh, he gets his eye. Uh, what's his face? Gets his eye plucked out. Nick Fury. Nick Fury. Yeah. 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 So, so we might see that in this movie. He actually has he, hair in this movie because he talks about in Winter Soldier that he lost this the eye. Oh, a scroll takes it. Yeah. Well, he, it's someone I trust took my eye yeah, or something. A like scroll. That. So he disguises himself as someone and pokes yeah. his eye out. And then at the end of Avengers Four, we'll find out that Cap was a scroll and everybody else is a scroll. Yeah, everyone was, you know is I a scroll. That's All right. a perfect so, transition. So yeah. Because... Now we have to talk about. Thanos' finger snap yeah. and the disappearance of half the cast. But we know half the in the universe. Com- in half the universe. We yeah. know in the comics they're just stored Bucky inside Rogers the story. eventually becomes Captain Cap. America. Yeah. Yeah. And they've been alluding to so this Sam Wilson. throughout yeah. the entire series with Bucky holding yeah. the, the shield. Yeah. I think what, I, I think it'll be a coin flip. No, I I think see I don't think it's going to be Bucky. I think, if anything, it's going to be, be Sam. Fa- Falcon. Yeah. Or neither of them take... I think they could just leave the mantle as is. Well, they, they could just bring back in uh, Sharon. She hasn't been in a movie for a couple movies. Yeah. Just bring her Age, back Age in. 13. Go. Well, yeah. and then we've got, what, Doctor Strange 2? Yep. Is... is Yeah. Yeah, there's a lot Black of Panther characters... Two. There's a lot of characters you know are going but to that's come a pre- Spider-Man. That's Far a prequel Home. movie, right? The Doctor Strange? No. No. Oh, it's the... No, unfortunately, we Spider-Man Far From Home is... Before a Infinity War. Oh, is it? Yeah, pretty okay. sure it is. So that's how we don't know yet. Is Spider Man's coming back? We all know that, yeah. right? But we we Strange know, we know a lot of characters are coming. You yeah. know that Spider Man has to come back. I mean, Stanley. Okay, God rest his soul. He on his his final words was take care of my boy. Yeah, and yeah. his boy, everybody knows, is Spider. man Unfortunately, they have one more movie with him, then it goes back to Sony. So we'll. Well, Unless they strike a deal they'll, that they'll, extends they'll, it. They'll, they might extend it. They'll, yeah. they'll probably strike another deal. I think they will, just now, because how much money it's bringing in. I mean, they'll, they'll obviously bring back Black Panther. Mm-hmm. And actually... If, it, it, if, that's already been confirmed. Yeah, if you remember when we went and saw that movie, before we even saw Infinity War, I said, given the popularity of Black Panther, there is no way in hell they're going to kill that character. So, and, and, and they did, is, and they is, did, and I was like, oh my god, Marvel's well, to got be some fair, but, but this Well, is to be where, fair, they didn't know he'd be that popular. But, oh, well, that's This true. is also yeah. where the idea of the crossroads comes in. That's all throughout the Marvel comics and everything like that, and the, the legitimacy of the multiverse, right? Yeah. And, and having these different timelines and stuff like that, and so it's... It's possible to consider that, you know, Doctor Strange, when he did his thing and came up with the, the 14 million... Well, he, he even said there's only one there's way to survive. There's only one possibility, yeah. Do you no, think, he didn't do you... say there's only one way to survive. No, he there's, there's one, one way to win. win. There's yeah. one way to win, yeah. And that's assuming that he wasn't answering Tony Stark's original question of how do we win against Thanos, or how do we beat him in this instance. Well, and he even says... Because a lot of people are commenting on that. Why would he give up the stone? And it's like, he says it right before he dies. Because like, half the people now we're yeah. in the end game. We are yeah. in the game. And that's an allusion to chess, right? Yeah. You it's have like, to sacrifice. He sacrificed yeah. himself and a couple others because he knows Not a couple of others. I mean, half the freaking well, world. But, but here, here's the thing. Here's the thing. And but given the it's setup. Lost on comic, it's lost on non-comic book readers because Fry and I, we saw... 
Infinity War opening night, and man, the, oh, people the, were the casuals. I that, that you guys didn't call me. The casuals well, were sorry. crying. <laughs> there was a girl yeah. when we were walking. She was pissed. Cry. She was. She was. She was. She, was she said, crying. "I think her exact quote was 10 fucking years, and yeah, this ten, is what yeah. they give us.' Yeah, 10 yeah. Fucking years and it, this. it that was a bold move because the, that could have backfired, but." It's a bold strategy. Oh, even even my parents. <laughs> it really when, is. When they went to see it, apparently my mom was bawling all throughout the credits. But like, see, because she she my mom, you know, being a sixty year old woman is a huge fan of Guardians. Yeah, she absolutely loves the Guardians. Deeply invested in the fact that they killed everybody but Rocket. Like she was in tears. There's an, tears. a lot, they, and that's what Marvel discovered is there was a lot of emotional investment, way bigger than what people had in the comics. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They because you can see them on screen, you can relate to them personally. You can imagine and, and what th- that person's life and is I like. And I think it, it is the fact that it's been ten years. It's like it's been a gradual build up to this point. You don't want to let go, yeah. right? This this mo- this movie was a you lost. There yep. was no there was no arguing see, that. It was it was basically hey you lost audience now get the fuck out of my theater. I don't exactly. think the audience lost. I think, and this is a theory that's been thrown around, but. Was Thanos really the bad guy in this movie? No. This he was the protagonist. The Avengers were technically the bad, the bad guy. Well, and, and, uh, you know, I've heard many arguments about. I've heard, I've oh. heard that reverse theory, and it, it is compelling to and consider I, and because I've heard a Thanos, lot of, uh, as much as he killed those people, who says those people don't die in any way because of starvation? Yeah, eventually. And, and he, a lot of people have said, "Oh, well, you know, if you have the gauntlet, you just make more resources." He can't. He can't. You can't. You can't, can't, create, can't create from nothing. Yeah, you can't create from nothing. They're it's the conservation of the, mass the and energy. The of equivalent exchange so, and all yep. that. So, and he understands that. So rather than, even though he can manipulate reality, he can't create new matter. New matter. He can't create food. So he can't create he, water. He, you know, he's got a point. He is mad. Don't get me wrong. He's insane. But he has a point. Yeah. But he's also demonstrated as having the power of the titans. Yeah. And he, so this he is, is... He has the will to do... What's required, right? Yeah, he he's physically strong, but he's the, mentally also, he's also broken. Mentally, so he's yeah. kind of weak mentally because he's that event broke him. Well, okay. and now he's and he's on a crazy. quest. Yeah. So when Stormbreaker hit him in the chest, when Thor hit him in the chest with Stormbreaker, mm-hmm. right? They show him at the end limping out. Of, yeah, he's he's hurt. Well, and his hands burnt from the gauntlet burning. Yep. The gauntlet he's, is permanently he's damaged. In, he's injured, but he knows he he's basically got he completed what he wanted. And to do. yet, now the gauntlet is completed. So if anybody else gains control of the gauntlet, it, i.e., well, Adam it Warlock, also has to be repaired. Now, Adam Warlock is Guardians three, yeah. but great the it has to be repaired. It I has to be well, repaired. They're going to stretch it out over many more movies. No, no, the gauntlet storyline. Ends with Avengers four and the Mo- recent, most of the overarching the sc- plots. Yeah, done is done in Avengers, Avengers 4. four because the script supposedly take with a grain of salt again. Rumors, grain of salt uh, has leaked online. I read it. I was curious. Um, it's not going to affect my enjoyment of the movie or not. I'll have to go look. And this this definitely ends, but sets up the next phase of the movies and they're definitely going if that is true of what has been leaked um with going a, away from the avengers heavily no avengers will still be it, a it's just plot the point, evolution of the universe the next villain is not going to be someone people know very much they have enough and I'm, you don't want to spoil it i don't want to spoil it for people i, I, I can appreciate but that. the villain it's gonna. It's a weird. Next villain, Batman. <laughs> yeah. Uh, spoiler alert. Spoiler alert. <laughs> crossover. <laughs> um, but no, the villain is a lesser known villain. He's tied in with properties that they don't have just yet, but they can use him because he appeared in the Avengers before. I think I know who you're talking about. And okay, um, they're gonna do a different twist on him, but then that opens the possibility of any. I can yeah. different. Not realities, but there's a lot of timelines possible here. Yeah. <laughs> to pardon the pun, webs <laughs> yeah. that can be cast oh, yeah. from mm-hmm. if I think it is who I think it is. Yeah. Okay. Possibly. Probably. <laughs> I mean, and that's if that rumor is true because it, so much can change well, between now and then with the Fox deal going through. Well, they can change so, something a lot else. Of, you know, be, and they kind of learned with Avengers three, the Infinity War. Um, you film things and you 
things get leaked out because you filmed mm -hmm. them or discussed them that actually don't appear in the final product. Could be products. BS, yeah. They could be screwing with people could and be. just going, uh, For all we know, there could be five scripts written and that one got leaked and that's not the real one. Yeah. That's true. Especially because they've been known to cast subterfuge mm -hmm. in the past. Well, the Red Skull, we didn't know he was going to be in the film and people still thought it was Hugo Weaving. Hell, you thought it was Hugo I Weaving. Thought it, I thought it was Hugo he, Weaving. He did a great voice. And then I, I Googled it. It was Ross Marquand. Oh, he, he's on The Walking Dead. Yeah. He does great... He, he got notoriety. He became famous in his notoriety is from Celebrity Impressions he does on YouTube. Yeah. And he does a perfect Hugo Weaving impression, which got him the role for... Which made everybody Red Skull. think yeah. Yeah, that's who it was. Well, I, I, I actually knew he was in the movie because they that that had been something that was leaked, I think, yeah. like a year and well, a half. Well, it's funny because... It was leaked like a year and a half before the movie yeah. came out and said someone was on set dressed as Red Skull, and I went, oh, that's cool. Which is funny because they still don't call him the Red Skull in the movie. They don't call him in the credits. He's actually credited, I think, as the Stonekeeper. I think he's credited as Red Skull. I don't think so, because all the merch, I think they only made a, a Funko Pop of him. It's the Stonekeeper. Mm. To yeah. keep a spoiler free, but it's obviously Red Face and yeah. Red Skull. D the people who know. Yeah. yeah. No. And, and that and was it, what, I mean, when I saw that. It just like him. It sounded just like him. It was, it was a good it job. It was good, yeah. yeah. It, was, it was just Hugo Weaving had some fallout with Marvel, because... Yeah. He wasn't given quite the freedom. I'm you know. guessing they originally wanted him to... Oh, yeah, they, they definitely yeah. wanted him. He, he, they wanted him to come back, but because he was his contract was for two movies. Right. Um, but apparently there was something about the amount of makeup and the freedom of the character that he just didn't He didn't like, like so. yeah. Mm -hmm. You, you kind of got to let him do his own thing. Yeah, but um, another thing is with those leaks, images also came out, so... It, if you get a chance, look them up because they're very interesting and toys concepts have leaked out. And this movie, this movie is going to be very different. I'm and I don't know how audiences are, are going to take the Iron I, I Man kinda, Mark one hundred and seventy three. I kind of want to. I kind of want to go look, but then I kind of want to be oh, surprised. No. I want to go in blind. Is blind as it's going to be. It's going to be interesting. I think it's going to. Anytime somebody tells me there's something that's leaked, I have this inner battle. Mm. Yeah. That. And, and I usually win. I usually go, no, you know yeah. what? I want to I want to be you, you on the timeline yeah. that they want me to be well, on. Well, I'm, I'm going to plant, I'm going to call my shot now. I'm going to plant my flag on this hill. And this might, divide, this actually might divide people. Like at least of how we got there because it's going to be different. Yeah. It's not going to be the Avengers that we all know and love. Yeah, we have the original cast. There's other people that are there with them that weren't, you know, we got Rocket, we got Nebula. Uh, who else was left behind that wasn't part of the original cast? Um, uh, War Machine. Uh, yeah. He, yeah. Uh, who else that wasn't dusted that is going to be part of this new Avengers right. with the originals? Uh, Scarlet Witch? Scarlet no, Scar no, Witch. No, she, no, Witch she got? Yeah, Witch got it. Well, Vision's carcass was still there, so I think they can rebuild him. Maybe. Will they make him better? Faster? I personally stronger? think if you notice he turns black and white, I think they'll bring him back from the dead. He's not going to be the same. He'll be more Android-like, I think, and they'll keep his black and white color scheme a nod to the original Vision, which also then could lead yeah, in. Yeah, that sure. could also lead into bringing Ultron back. I think as an imprint leave, onto yeah, him. They should just leave it alone. Uh, it, it was such a good death that you just. It was a good death. It, yeah. yeah, it was very. Because like, not if they bring back everybody, I'm actually going to be pissed. Oh, well, they're going everybody? to bring back everyone, but Don't, I. Don't bring back. You got to have some people that you just don't bring back. No, you're, 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 well, they can't bring back Gamora because she was thrown off. Yeah, the she. Thing. Any, anybody, and then Loki can't anybody, Loki back. anybody who anybody who died before, before the snap, the snap, snap. Right. is, is dead. The snap, they're trapped inside the stone. Anyone before that is just dead. Yeah, but right. I think are I've, they tra are I've, they trapped I've, inside the stone? Is that the that's, yeah? That's they're trapped inside the stone. They're okay. they're technically they're a still alive. Lot, they're in suspension. Yeah, they're like in a purgatory. Right, and then, so that's where the whole that's where I keep going back to the Silver Surfer Adam Warlock thing is because in the original comics, but it, Infinity Warlock War was not like in, Infinity Gauntlet or Infinity War. I just maybe it's just me clinging to that. We all want to hope it, it's yeah. not. You know, we're trying to read the tea leaves, and this is the first time we're not the first time, but. I see the grim. <laughs> the, the later, these later Phase Three movies, they're getting away from the source material. They're doing their own thing. They feel comfortable making stories up, and I'm really digging that about this. But they, I, they take pieces from other. They things. take pieces, yeah. but that is true. But 
again, war was not like Dawn at all. I think the only thing that that really keeps me tied to that thought is the fact that Spider Man has to come back. Oh yeah. Oh, he, he has will. To. He will. All the new characters will come back. It's the older characters Why don't you just that are going to Tom die. Holland. I'm sure he'll spoil it for you. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Mark Ruffalo. Mark Ruffalo. Oh yeah. He's. Oh the yeah. Spoiler. He got. He got fired. Yeah. Where, what? Did he? he got fired. Really? Yeah. When? From Marvel? Well, because they because he's he's done filming his scenes. Uh huh. He's fired. Oh, so Hulk's not, uh, so probably Hulk's he's probably coming back then. <laughs> because he he spoiled something, and that that was like a news article the other day. He's he he was fired. Wow, I might have missed that. Yeah. Well, well at least I'm 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 almost positive. Hold on, I'm double checking. I'm not gonna say too much, but if that is indeed true, then that means the way they're going with the Hulk, from what I've seen from the leaks, they're not gonna need him. Yeah, he's just gonna stay Hulky. Well, not just that, but. They don't even have to use the same Hulk. I mean, if we go into a different well, direction, they could, they could always is, do uh, Amadeus call, Cho. I was Hulk. just going to say they could just call up William Hurt and get around to what I want. Oh, I've been wanting it since 2008. You're right, and I actually saw yeah. that. That was because like, he was on the Fa- Jimmy Fallon show. Yeah. And he teased, he teased something. the name of the, the fourth uh, film. Yeah, and, and it was like the next day Disney said, you're done. You're done filming, so you're done. We like I, he's not. It's the same thing. Well, a different situation, but it's the same made, thing as Gun. They They're made not a allowed back. Huge yeah. joke on the Jimmy Fallon show, and he was like, "Yeah, whatever." Wow. Yeah. Well, maybe that's why he was so nonchalant about it. Is he? He doesn't care because he, doesn't he, care, he yeah. wasn't coming back anyway. I don't think he was either. I think even if that doesn't happen, he's not coming back. I don't think. Yeah. I don't think so maybe it was. Need... It was probably just a PR thing. It's like we got rid of you. You're a bad boy. Well, I, I don't think any of the original... I think Thor from the original cast will probably be the sole guy coming back. I think Yeah. the others, maybe not, will Chris, all Chris die. Chris Evans is definitely done as far yeah. as But I think role. they go away somehow. They don't have they'll, to always Yeah, die, they'll, go, they'll retire yeah. the characters. I mean, some people are going to die. I, I think if Tony survives, he'll, he'll, he might show up here and there as just kind of a nod. But yeah, the the original the original be, one and two phase teams. Are, he's going to be around gone. developing the technology for the future Avengers. I think. Screw that! I want him to die, and then he's the AI but for he, Spider-Man. No, but he had to. No, they live. need to bring in uh, the girl. He had I, to, What's the girl's name? That was Iron Man. Riri Williams. Yeah. Iron Heart. Yeah, yeah. They, could, they could bring her. They, they could if they want more female leads and. That which is be a way to is, go in Phase Four, you which, know. I, true, but he's too old to do the role. Yeah, I mean, he's he's yeah. getting in his fifties. But that character is very divisive, which is where I think that he basically becomes. And you could have uh, Riri their play Riri. quote unquote Alfred developing the technology go for the heroes movie. to then go use. Yeah, but we have uh, well, Mike. I don't know how much Michael Douglas would play in the future, but we have Hank Pym. Yeah, yeah. he's smarter. Uh, who who else do we have that can make technology in the current cast? Well, and not just that. I mean, but you've got like well, the Asgardians bringing their technology. Well, even if you, well, even if you don't have Hank, you have Hope. Yeah, Hope could be the new Tony. We have uh, Shuri. She could be the new Tony. Sh- oh, too. yeah. yeah. We that, don't need Tony to do that. Easily my favorite character in that movie. Hell, I can make a case right now for all six Avengers of why we, we don't really need them. <laughs> Tony Stark. We have Shuri. We have Hope. Uh, no, but the reason that they would keep him is that the name, the star power, yeah, and the, bring him for the the attitude the behind. That's why Chris Hemsworth keep going. That's why you bring yeah. him as an AI. You don't have to pay him for his on-screen look. You only pay him for his voice. Considerably yeah, less money. Wouldn't wouldn't keep him. They, they, there yeah. might be backlash against that. There's people are going to have this is unpopular opinion. Hot take. People have to get over it because yeah. Robert Downey Jr. is not going to be able to play Tony Stark forever. Oh yeah, no, he's not. <laughs> but. Oh, but we can just CGI his face like we do with Leia. God, I hope not. Please don't. <laughs> Please don't. Just, I'm going to touch on this touchstone. Have you seen the pictures of Leia in Episode Nine? I don't want it to. It looks horrible. They had their out, but instead they had to get up on their soapbox and say, we're not going to kill her out of honor for Carrie Fisher. You should have killed the bitch. Yeah. should have just let the, her rest. She looks she bad have, yeah. in the new one. Well, the CGI a, yeah. is bad in the new one. They got, yeah. they got 
they got 12 months to fix it, they better get around. Yeah. <laughs> I hope they, they don't do that with Robert Downey. Just let yeah. the character yeah, just let go, go away. Just, just let it go. Because that's what makes Marvel so great is they learn to evolve, and I don't want them to well, be and, and see, like and DC. We're like, oh, we're, we're going to let and, him be Tony Stark forever. And no, here's the that. thing is, here's the thing the movies can do that the comics can't. The comics have, have neutered themselves from being able to kill anybody. Death is dead. Yeah, well, because in the comics, right, it was all about prolonging the series and yeah. constantly yep. so const- selling that weekly Well, and they constantly, or if, even if they die, they come back. The movies, once they're dead, they're, they're dead. They're going. They can't. Yeah. yeah. But that's where We haven't exactly seen now... Obadiah Stane in 10 years either. So, so it's like, if Cap dies, yeah. I, I hope they don't kill Cap. I love Cap. But if they kill Cap, he's dead. They're not going to bring him back. They could kill him and make him a symbol of hope. Put a statue yeah. in New York, boom, he's, yeah. the, and he's then have, the beacon have still. Sam, have Sam or uh, Bucky yeah. do it. Again, like, like, like I was saying earlier, I can make the case now. Iron Man, Shuri, or Hope. Uh, Captain America, you got Sam or Bucky. Yep. Yep. Thor. We don't even need Thor. I think I think he, he's coming back though. He'll, he'll come um, back. I think it'd be nice to see them transition to But Thor, uh, you don't the, even need the, him because the female Thor. Because you have Strange. They're not going to do that because now like Well, the female done. Thor was his mom. No, female Thor was Jane Foster. Right. Now like Oh, character. yeah. She ain't coming back. She ain't not coming back. They don't want her. She doesn't want to come back. Um, Hawkeye. Haw- Hawkeye I guess you could ride say Ant Man. No, I'm saying like yeah. replacement oh, yeah. wise, yeah. Ant Man. Yeah, maybe. Um, but Jeremy Hulk? Renner has, hasn't really been a feature in, for a while, so he, yeah. He, He'll show up in four, but he's going to ride off. Into really, the, the only one that's Ant-Man irreplaceable. Was amazing. Yeah, it was. It was. Yeah. I like Ghost. I like that actress. Ghost was because she she's in uh, uh, Killjoys. Yeah, she is amazing. Um, so keep going on your list. Um, Hulk is really the only one that is kind of irreplaceable because he's a well, big but tank. with with the new licensing, oh, when, the, when the yeah, when the deal's done, they can Fantastic bring in the Four thing. thing. I mean, we we all know they're coming. The first family, Fantastic Four, and or right. or you have Colossus, which will be or, nice to see Fantastic Four possibly I, yes. done with some justice. Yes, Victor I Von like, Doom needs to be I done like properly. The first oh, one, please. Oh. I, I'll defend the first one. I like the first one. First one's all right. Second one's I mean the the first movie is an okay for the early two thousand superhero movies. Two was bad. The '90s movie was horrible, <laughs> and 2014 was a steaming pile of dog shit. So <laughs> they don't really have a good track record. Oh yeah, that's right. I forgot. Yeah, that. remember that? There, there are black holes in my mind because I try to burn it out. Well, everyone I, tries I hate for, that movie. Everyone tries to forget that abortion of a movie, uh, but uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, we're trying to you know stay positive. Good Marvel movies. Yeah. I'm sorry. How do you do that? <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> With Fantastic Four, you don't. Well, when the licensing reverts for Spider-Man back to Sony, we can finally get that Spider-Man Four we've all been craving for. God no, <laughs> Tom Holland is good enough. And we, I sort of want to punch you right now. We get. Don't you that. want to see Tobey Maguire crying in a Spidey suit? No, fuck you. Don't want to see that. Yeah. No, I, I like the first two. <laughs> first two are good. Yeah. Two is really good. Yeah. Two, two is still amazing. Future Spider-Man. Two, far- I think two was my favorite. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Two, 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 two should be everyone's favorite. On, actually, honestly, two is still my favorite, even over Homecoming. I can see that. I can see. Yeah. Two is two is a damn good movie. Although, although the uh, the two is just a good friend movie in that's general. The Asian neighbor kid. Oh, Ned. Oh, Ned. Ned yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ned's funny as hell. Yeah. But have you? Uh, speaking, <laughs> oh my God! It's aliens coming to kill us. Briefly on Spider Spider-Man again <laughs> about the the Spider-Man animated. Uh, movie coming out with the the multi. I'm pretty Spider-Man. stoked for that. I I think that's going to be really interesting. Be cool. I think the story will be okay. Um, if if you saw Venom, you saw about ten minutes of it. It is hard to watch. I I don't know if it was just me, but the frame rate seemed like it was halved because they're trying to give it like a comic booky feel, and it's very jumpy. Yeah. Watching the trailer, you're okay because right. it's two three minutes. Watching it for ten minutes. By the end of the ten minutes, my head was hurting. Huh? That could and be. I, that could be a problem. I don't think it's going to go over quite as. I, I'm sure the story is great, but I think the style the animation is style might not going to do well. We we had some questions about that too because it looks like a cross between cell shading mm-hmm. and uh, the 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 kind of old fashioned rotoscoping. Yeah. Like. Yeah. 
it, it's like they're trying to blend a new animation style with yeah, a really it, it, old it does, one. It does kind of look yeah. like they're the, animating over top of the... The frame rate yeah. is really kind of jumpy. It, it does jump. And, and like I said, the first trailer or so, I was like, okay, this is this is okay. When at the end of Venom, when they teased it, it was like, for the first half, I'm like, okay, okay. And then my head started hurting. And I'm like, I don't think I want to watch this in theaters. I did yeah. not get to see that. So I guess I'll probably have to go check that out. Well, and even if that doesn't, you know, if that's not your I'm, thing, then we have Spider-Man Far From Home. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Which is looking to be no it's looking to be good because we have mysterio jake joan host mysterio oh okay hell yeah love mysterio and he Um, picks excellent roles yeah so yeah and i think they tease hydro man as well that's a villain i never thought they'd do and i'm so glad well here here's another villain you probably didn't do hydro man really (laughs) yeah they uh tom holland posted something on his twitter instagram and he was getting blasted with water and there's no way they use that much water for anyone but hydro man so right. i think hydro man will show up and i think that's sony a, sony's letting them use villains that aren't well known and they're they're, they're not going to use a doc ock they're not going to use a venom they're not going to use a green goblin Hop i think goblin. those have been played out yeah. in a lot of the original so yeah. they're doing something different so we had vulture and scorpion mm-hmm. it's going to lead to a sinister six we have mysterio they, yeah they may build up to a they're going to build up to a sinister six i think they may do goblin down the road but they're not We've we've already had two. Yeah, right. we, we know, don't need to. No, Willem Dafoe fair. was good. The second one was. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, it happened. <laughs> yeah, it didn't happen. Punch and Pie was served. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I think I think Spider Man Three will lead ultimately to it. the final movie will be a, a Sinister Six yeah. showdown. Yeah, and then if the rights revert back, they revert back. We we might get a Sinister Six movie. If they don't, then we'll see yeah. what happens with the future Spider Man. It, it is what it is, but you yeah. know, Marvel I, Marvel's hit hit. Hitting it on all, all I cylinders. am stoked just for the the whole lineup. Yeah. I mean, of, of everything that they have coming, regardless of how it turns out. And well, we, and, and and we still did, don't know the future because right. 2020, they, they might have, not anything for Well, that they yet. had exactly. teased that they are they are vigorously There's working a on a Namor. They are trying to get rights and stuff yeah, done I for a Namor. I think you, which Universal has those rights. Basically, yeah. the fir- like, he's the Aquaman that came first. Yeah. Yeah. Really, if, if everybody out there knows their comics, he's the Aquaman that yeah, came Aquaman, first. Yeah. And it's, it's and one of those. And they hinted I, at it in um, one of one of Tony's screens that he's showing a map of, of where they're. I think it was during the uh, the uh, Accords, the Peace Accords. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, they're showing Sokovia Accords. Yeah. yeah, the Sokovia Accords. So he's like turning just barely, and you can look past his shoulder and see an Atlantean city that's marked on the screen for Jarvis. I, it, it gave me that little glimmer of hope yeah. that you know that 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 would be something. I mean, what's Universal going to do with it? They've Nothing. had they've had the license for over twenty years now, and they haven't done shit with it. So yeah. actually, at that point in time, they may it may have reverted. <laughs> no, like- no, they that was a license that was because it's been discussed on the internet. That license was sold to them straight oh, up, hundred percent. Yeah, because that was when Marvel needed cash, so they yeah. were just piecemeal on their stuff. They didn't think about an MCU and Namor. Who's gonna make a Namor movie? Yeah, and so well, they sold it for they sold it for for a chunk of change and thinking that was gonna help. And that's what, that's how I feel about it. Is like I can't wait for it, but at the same time I'm like, this is it's gonna be a Namor movie. It's like that's it, it, it's either gonna be the greatest thing I've ever seen or it'll be a stinking turd. You know, or everybody is going to compare it to Aquaman, which will have oh, come out I hope, first. I yeah, hope not. Unfortunately, yeah. it's gonna be compared. It will. Yeah. And that's the unfortunate part, is because, like I said, I mean, in the comic book, if they give it enough time, maybe it'll be compared to Little Mermaid. So so did the (laughs) Infernal Man thing, but everyone knows uh, Swamp Thing better. Same with um, Thanos, or Dark Side came before Thanos. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, It is what it is. So, well, yeah, and you were talking about, you know, the speculation of what's coming beyond 2019. For all that stuff, I mean, future, yeah, we don't know what the future holds. It's going to be the interesting. Eternals. Yeah, I mean, that's been rumored, and I think it probably will happen. Well, it's, it's a really solid theory. One of the things I I really want to see when the Fox deal goes through, and especially with the shakeup with the Avengers cast not coming back because of you know their contracts are up, I'd really like them to do a uh, Illuminati. 
Ah, it was it was a very strange, short yeah. yeah like short run little thing with him and Professor X. Yep. So it's like I would love Benedict Cumberbatch can carry yeah. the load. So I, yeah. I would love to see that. That'd be amazing. You know, with with James McAvoy if he comes back with the That'd package. Be a so, damn good uh, cast. So briefly, well, not briefly. I think I think this is about the time we should probably transition to uh, the one you and I've been hinting on all all cast here. What Doom. Doom. <laughs> yeah. I guess that'll be our final That's thoughts. That's our final thoughts. Yeah, is final thoughts Doom, is Doom, 2019. Doom 2019. They're remaking it. The movie. Not, not really remaking it. They're they're doing another Doom, and apparently it's going to be done right. And a lot of people were talking to the director when it was first announced, and they're like, why? Why are you doing this to us again? And apparently all the director did was he, he took one of his cameras and just took a, a photo of a hallway, and there were body parts and just viscera all over the place it, it was horrible to look at and he's like that's what doom is are are you happy don't worry about it i've got this yeah it's like we're not doing no sissy shit 2005 rock movie we're doing doom so is the way it's meant so to is be. doom guy gonna be who's it's, gonna be played by old, and is only, he gonna be well, silent here, here's the thing the only kind of middle ground is there is no single protagonist so there is no well, it's, not, it's not, I mean, it's not going to be exactly production. like Doom. There's still a team. There's, okay. there, there's still going to be a special forces team. But there's going to be one charismatic leader that's but there's, the Sam... A lot of the actors are actually kind of lower level, kind of newer actor and actresses. Who, who is in the lineup? People you've never heard of. Interesting. Um, which act, for horror movies is great. Because they have nothing, no reputation to worry about, so they'll give it their all, hopefully. Yeah. yeah. Um, and a lot of the things I've been hearing is they're, unlike the previous version, they're finally doing hell. Because that was the one thing they ripped out of 2005 was... Which oh, everybody that's, got pissed about. Yeah, it was like, this This isn't Doom if it's not hell. And yeah. they ripped it. It was, a, it was a studio executive said... No, we can't. We can't have a PG thirteen movie play with audiences in the PG thirteen. Yeah. Yeah. This what is, hell being depicted in PG thirteen? They can't do that. They couldn't that, do that. That's why. That's why the they, they it out. It Oh yeah, not, yeah, not PG thirteen. So they, they put it in this one. This this apparently is R. They're not shooting for PG thirteen. This is R. I wish they'd go for an NC seventeen. And just, but then they wouldn't make money. They wouldn't make money. That's true. Because this is still Universal. It's still owned by Universal. Yeah. Oh okay. So I thought they, I thought they. No, so the, the rights right, are the at right, Universal. The rights never reverted, from what I heard. Interesting, huh? So I'm hoping it's good. I really, I really want it to be good because the Doom 2016 yeah. was amazing. It yeah. revitalizes the game. I'm hoping this revitalizes the movies. Well, I the think. bright side is it can't be any worse than 2005. <sighs> <laughs> We've said that in the past about so many things. We really have. I, I, I hope you're right. Yeah, I, I don't think it. I have, I have, I have what you're describing. It, about it may the not picture be of the, the director the hallway. At least the director has some faith that his vision is going to be correct. Now, whether the studio butchers it and makes their own bastardized cut, who knows? But his cut is apparently going to be pretty well. I guess well that done. remains to be seen, much like everything else. Yeah, yeah. I mean that's that's still 2019, 2019. the movie of huge ass movies. Yes, indeed. <laughs> Yeah, 2018 was like that, but man, 2019 is shaping up to be even bigger than that. That's oh, man. mind blowing to think about. I, I don't even know how well, I'm gonna survive. <laughs> and and the ability to to hit so many characters and story plots just because of what CG is now capable of. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, seriously, we wouldn't have half of what we have now no. without the ability for CGI to 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 handle the load. So, yeah. anyway. Yeah, I mean, it's as we said before, it's. It'll be interesting to see the future of cinema in 2019 and beyond. Absolutely. And I think that will wrap up this discussion this week. And I uh, want to thank you guys for coming on and thank our audience for listening. Oh, definitely. And, um, yeah, so, if again, if you, if you enjoyed this, hit hit the like button. Hit smash the bell, as the kids say today. Share it with your friends. Share with your friends and all put, that. Put chance. all your little comments in the... Yeah, a little, little comment. comment. I, I don't care what you say. Yeah, say, say good, yeah. say bad. I don't, you know. Yeah, give us feedback. We, we want to come up with like our own little interesting thing to do. I mean, like, yeah. there's all these other channels that have their comment section yeah. thing. Yeah. 
we want you guys to, to give us some ideas of what you want to hear us talk about, uh, yeah. some kind of goofy things you'd We're like very for transparent us to do here. on air. Um, yeah. You ask it, we'll answer it. For the, well, for the most for the part. most part, not too well, personal uh, stuff. You know, <laughs> not the truth or dare here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but yeah, we're 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 fairly transparent so, here. So yeah. I don't know. I'm pretty opaque. <laughs> chirp, chirp, no. joke, chirp, chirp, no. Chirp. Hey, I win. Shut up. <laughs> All right. All right. Until next time, nerd herd out. <laughs>